Hey guys, what's up? I'm Brandi Chang for the Red Carpet Report. We're here at the season three premiere of Husbands. We're talking to the cast and finding out that what happens in Vegas doesn't always stay in Vegas. Nice to meet you, Red Carpet Report. I just want to say congratulations. We've covered this before, I think, huh? Definitely. Yeah. Well, it's nice to see you again. And um, I just wanted to say congratulations. This is an amazing, amazing moment for you. How does it feel to be here tonight? It's crazy. And you know what's even crazier is um, we were here one year ago tonight, and it was the first time that any series online, um, you know, outside of a network or a cable, had been at the Paley Center. So, like, one year ago to the day, we're here again, and it's, um, it's a dream come true. How has your life changed since that day one year ago? Oh, my life's changed in so many ways. I just, um, I feel like it's more blessed. I don't, uh, blessed I feel like is a cliche word, but that, that is, it's, it's how I feel. Um, you know, our deal with the CW and, and getting to work with such amazing people and, and the stories that we've told. And I just feel more <laughs> like a grown up, but in like some crazy fantasy, like, you know, I'm a grown up, but in a dream world, it's, it's very cool. I was checking out your Twitter and somebody commented, and it seemed like an international comment that they were talking about their university, that this is the future of television. Mm -hmm. You were saying it's the now. Can you explain that a little bit? Well, yeah. Um, yeah, there's this idea that it's sort of going to happen in the future. Um, and I think we're in a place where it, it isn't as ubiquitous, um, and so people still perceive it as something that's going to happen. But, you know, you watch what was on broadcast last night on Hulu, uh, or you watch YouTube on your smart TV. Uh, so I think that it, it really all is the same. Television is a concept. And I think House of Cards helps cement that idea. So I was glad to see it. I was like, yes, it's like more and more. Yeah. Can you talk about this season a little bit? Where does this pick up in season three? Yeah, um, Cheeks and Brady have decided to redo their wedding because, you know, the first one was a little uh, drunk in Vegas. And um, so they're going to do that. I don't think everything is going to go quite as well as they hope. Um, and then we have another story where they are trying to settle into their lives in the suburbs. You know, they're kind of trying to do the traditional husband and wife thing. But how do you do that when you're husband and husband and figuring that out? And then I wanted to ask you, obviously, Cheeks had an interesting experience in Vegas. What is your most crazy moment in Vegas? Well, one I can remember. I don't know. My craziest, I probably don't remember. Okay. All right. Uh, I went out and I met this guy at, you know, some place, I can't remember. And then we ended up partying all night and then got to the Space Needle. Um, no, that's in Seattle. What's the one that looks like the Space Needle? That one. Uh, the Stratosphere. That's what it is. Um, we get to the Stratosphere for breakfast. The sun comes up and I'm starving, so I order all this food and he's going to pay for it. The food comes, I take one bite and my stomach turns. I'm like, I can't eat this. I can't eat any of this and he was pissed, and um, he didn't call me, surprisingly. Well, I, I think it turned out a little bit better for Cheeks then in the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. You get to take something home. Right, exactly. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hope you have a great night. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more interviews. And leave me a comment below and tell me what is your favorite sitcom. Mine is Friends.